mat with lid locks here and uh, let's go ahead and do a uh, lid locks uh, grip tip helmet lock install on this uh, Suzuki V-Strom. So this particular V-Strom has uh, brush guards on it. Uh, you may or may not have the brush guards but in either case it's the same deal. We're just going to loosen up this screw and this is an expanding rubber plug inside of the handlebars. So just loosen that up a bit. Don't keep going because the nut will fall off on the inside. It'll be harder to get that out. Uh, for the brush guard, you just unsnap that out of the groove. And then uh, we just go ahead and pull that out of your handlebars like that. So like I said, don't keep on screwing it. You don't want that to fall off inside the handlebar. Okay. So that's it for removing this. Now I'll show you uh, how to swap out this uh, bar end weight for your uh, lid lock helmet lock body. Okay, so now that we've removed the bar end weight from uh, your Suzuki V-Strom, uh, what we want to do is uh, just swap out the stock bar end weight uh, for the lid locks helmet lock body. Uh, on this setup, there's an extra piece in here because uh, this bike has the brush guards which snap into that slot right there. And if you don't have the brush guards on your handlebars, then that piece just not is just not there. The bar uh, just missing out of this stack up. So <clears throat> we're just going to take this apart and pay attention to uh, kind of where all the parts are. So we'll just lay them out here. You've got this special nut that plugs into the end of the rubber piece. So just take them off and lay them out there in order. Then you've got this washer. Then you've got the uh, handlebar plug. Then you've got the extra spacer for the uh, brush guard. In this case, again, some uh, some of you will not have that if you don't have the brush guard. Then you've got your stock bar end weight and your stock bolt. So what we're going to do is uh, get rid of the stock bar end weight, get rid of the stock bolt. And uh, since this has the extra spacer, we're going to use a 100mm uh, bolt that comes in your kit. And you're just going to put that bolt down through your helmet lock body. And then if you're using the brush guard spacer, then just put this back on the way you got it off. Then the washer. And and there you go. We're ready to go install it back in the uh, handlebars on the bike. Okay, so now we have this assembly put back together. We're just going to go ahead and uh, slide it into the end of the back into the end of the handlebar and then we're going to tighten this down the five millimeter hex and uh, once again we're going to rotate the slot on the lid locks down towards the ground we want it to be pointed down once it's tightened down now for the brush guard you just Go ahead and snap it back into its slot. Now we take our uh, lock core and we just thread that into the end. And we're going to use the key as a tool to final tighten that down. Now there's a little ridge on the key and a little slot in the body. If you push the key all the way in, the key will rotate inside the lock. So we're just going to push it just a little bit till it engages that slot in the lock body so we can actually use it as a screwdriver basically. And then uh, just bottom that out just like so. And then take your hex key that's uh, supplied in your kit. Go ahead and snug down your set screw. and Give that a pretty good snug down and that's it, you're installed. Uh, you're good to go. So, to use these, you take your helmet extender and you put it up through your Nolan type clasp or through your D-rings and when the pin is popped, you just stick that up in there, push the pin and it locks up and there you go, your helmet is locked up to your bike. Now to unlock your helmet from the bike, grab your helmet of course and again take the ridge Line it up with the slot, push it all the way in, give it a little turn, pops the pin, and you're unlocked. <clears throat> there you go. 
Uh, there's your uh, kit for your Suzuki V-Stroms. And uh, there's two different kits. Uh, it just has a longer bolt if you've got the brush guards and a bit shorter bolt if you do not. So just go ahead and uh, go on to my website, lidlocks, L-I-D-L-O-X.com, and click on the fitment table, and then go look up your Suzuki V-Strom, and you'll see there which uh, kit number is the right kit for your bike. And of course, as usual, if you have any questions at all, uh, just email me to matt at lidlocks.com, and I will take care of you personally. Thanks for watching.